oh, that was a lot of fun, even if that, like, sunshine-esque bit was kind of getting on my tits. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of those. I mean, as I said, One Kingdom later on, there's a couple of ones where there's secret areas like that, <clears throat> which, uh, <laughs> let's just say, hardest moons in the game. That's fine. Like, I'm not going to bulk a little bit of challenge. It's, if it's annoying, that's the problem. And even the best games have some annoying parts. Oh, I mean, it's it's an, like, some of them are nightmarish in terms of their challenge. I mean, one power moon requires you to do eight perfect long jumps in a row. Huh. Oh. Yeah. It's a difficult one. <laughs> right. I never did find the shop here. Um, that's because the shop wasn't there. When you were here the first time. I see. Yeah, this has got some more civilization in general, because it was just like a abandoned area with a dinosaur and some chain chomps and a fucking abandoned odyssey last time we were here. Oh, Tom, look up in the sky. Hello. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that the Sphinx? That's the Sphinx. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it gets from kingdom to kingdom. Awesome. Exactly. <laughs> In your own time. Thank you. So it seems like our, our key to getting moons really fast like is um, finding the moonstone and breaking that sucker apart. Pretty much, yes, because also doing that means that you then have a here's a map of where all these particular moons are. It's a godsend. It's really helpful, yeah. Alright, let's have a go at this. I mean, it's basically why I really like Hint Toad. Uh huh. Because that's effectively what Hint Toad does. Hint Toad's. Um, puts a marker on your map as to where a power moon is, but doesn't tell you anything about it. Whereas what Talk To does is he tells you the name of a power moon, but doesn't tell you where it is. So yeah, go make good Jesus jump in this one. Eh? <laughs> I'll do what I can, but no promises. Get the fuck out of here! It's a fucking tail in me, Jesus, dude. <laughs> It did, it's not gonna work. Although you have found another moon, it's just, it's just you, you might. I don't know whether you can get it in this or not. Well, we'll find out. Just because it takes a while in order to get the thing to pop out. Well, I'm more interested in this than the race now, so. <laughs> it was for coins! <laughs> oh, totally worth throwing the race. <laughs> there are some moons like that in the game, so. There is that. God, have they not hit the finish line yet? They have, they're just waiting for you, I think. Oh, well, they can carry on waiting. <laughs> it's just a show of politeness at this point. This seems like the quick way to get up there. I believe it is, yes. <laughs> they're all just jumping and cheering, wondering where the fuck you are. Alright, Huey, Dewey, Louie and Screwy, let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> Yes, take two. The proper one. Yeah, the one where you don't get sidetracked by a rock. <laughs> it was shiny! Sometimes you have to learn to ignore the shiny things. I know it's a hard lesson we all have to adapt to. I know. Well, let's get some triple jumping action in, boy. Now a good time to stop with the shop, or...? <laughs> <laughs> Get eaten by chain chomp! Yeah, that's not going to happen. Could happen to you though, but hopefully not. Um, but yeah, one of the things that it's quite helpful to realise with any time you're running and racing is that the triple jump can actually be really, really helpful to you. Ah. Uh -huh. Because if you are running properly, then the triple jump basically keeps your momentum going. So, particularly in one of those ultra-difficult moons, um, you are going to have to master keeping your momentum going with a triple jump uh, to progress and get that moon, and it's quite insane. I, I kind of like skimmed over his text, as I often do, <laughs> see Santa and Satan, but uh, I read that as Bazinga, here is a moon for you. <laughs> 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 uh. Be gone. Yeah, well fuck you too then. <laughs> 
Let's see what the shop has for us. Very nice. <laughs> We're going native, lads. Well, it's a very good shout because there's most definitely a power moon in here associated with this outfit. Nice. Yes, we are a fucking Flintstone now. Lovely. <laughs> Seven granddad. Christ. <laughs> still think the best one then was the fucking Flintstones parody of Stohalation. That's like just bringing it all together. <laughs> yeah, I don't really recall that, and uh, I choose not to recognise such memes. Because uh, you're a meme cat, you work it, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, I can't keep up with uh, your meme power, honestly. Ah! You can still get this, Tom. No! No, How? no you can't still get this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Which? You were so close. Who and when? Right, come on, Tom. You can't let Flame beat you. You can't be branded a casual. I mean, it, it might be ever so slightly too late on that front, but um, it's it's okay. Second time is indeed the charm. Yeah, it's like just getting out of that little like pocket between casual and normie. You don't want to <laughs> get stuck there. Yeah, that's a terrible place to be, you know, sandwiched. Really. Yes. <laughs> What the fuck are we even talking about anymore? <laughs> it's the post game. I've decided to go even more casual at this point. <laughs> Although, what's cool is you'll see sides of the kingdoms we didn't even bother to show off. So, uh, this like victory lap is really sweet, honestly. Oh yeah, and I mean, yeah, you just found a little fun victory lap right now. There you go. Because this wasn't available to you um, when you first visited the Cascade Kingdom, but it is now. Wow, that's really far into the game. Oh yeah, they um, hid it behind a uh, just a greyed out portrait before, so you really were not able to get here before, but you can now. Why would you ever need, like, to warp here when you're in Bowser's Kingdom? Um, I think the idea is that they wanted to give you a way in which you could actually travel through all of the kingdoms without actually using the Odyssey. Okay. So as long as you like have been to it once before, then you, when you're going through Bowser's Kingdom, if you wanted a sort of quick way to get back to the Cascade Kingdom, just teleport there, jump in the portal, and you're there. I got you. Yeah, but it's kind of weird because the Odyssey also teleports. Like, it's just there, back at the start of whatever one year gone to. So, like, who's. Like, do you send Cappy off to fucking pilot that or some shit? Well, no, Cappy's with you. It's just the gods themselves. Well, exactly. The Odyssey really likes you, so it thought it'd help. Yeah, it's, that, it's that fucking dragon from, like, the... Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> that Dark Souls Kingdom. Like, he just comes and fucking flies it over for you. Oh, the Lord of Lightning. I still can't get over that. I know. I mean, his actual name is just the Ruined Dragon, which is much more disappointing than Lord of Lightning, so... Let's go with Lord of Lightning, because that's what the moon calls him. Uh-huh. Well, no, what that is, is that's your band name and your album name. <laughs> Classy flame, I like it. Alright, where's this uh, moon son of a bitch? I'm gonna assume up there. Oh, why don't I just do a thing and. Uh, is that it? Top of the uh, big no, stump? No, it's definitely not that one. <laughs> oh no, where did I go exactly? You went to the top of the big stump. Son of a bitch. There we go. Yeah, fossil full heights, that's the one you want. Cappy's getting real sick of this shit. Yeah, he's just going, what are you doing? And actually, um, just... Yes! Looking good, Peach. I think you wear that better than me, honestly. I think she does. Ah, Law. Precious Bonneton Law. So is Peach just trying to, like, find herself? Um, no, I think she just wants to go on a vacation and meet the people of the world, because obviously you can only do so much if you just know your singular world, and she just wants to explore a little bit more. I mean, why not? Meet a whole bunch of new people, grow as a person. It's like the, the most plot, like character development Princess Peach has ever had. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Wow, you look shifty as fuck, mate. 
Mr. Caveman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of your work of sitting in a cave scratching your ass and burning yourself. Dying of, like, typhoid or some shit. Yeah. I don't know if that was around in the Stone Age. Don't correct me. I don't care. <laughs> Back, I fucking Google it. <laughs> Skip. Yeah, that, that's pretty much the best thing to do. After you've seen it once, you're just like, yeah, just just sod off, skip through it, skip through it. Nice. Um, I don't remember, did we get Captain Toad when we came here the last time? I don't think so, because I think you have to do that kind of jump with the T-Rex to get him. You don't, actually. Tom, do you want to get to Captain Toad here? Uh, well, give me a second, Mr. Man. That's and, fine. Uh, and we'll uh, just do that. Cavemen can jump, I will not hear otherwise. That was easy, but I'm not complaining. Oh, well, that's another one that you can get before, like, you've beat the game proper, so that's like the introductory Scarecrow thing, I think. Yeah, I mean, it, it, this is one of the things that I have since ended up being endlessly confused about, is because with some of the moons, I didn't go to get them until I was already in the post-game. Ah. Uh. And so... When it came to do my playthrough, it was just like, wait, um, is that a power moon that is post-game, post-game, or just beat the kingdom post-game, or is it um, beat the game post-game, but not post-game, post-game? Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> I know. Um, so, do you want to find Captain Toad? Sure, but first I want to go down here! Ow! <laughs> Fuck! That turned I'll out... i if I killed you. <laughs> yeah, it turned out a lot better than I was anticipating. Oh, I love this music. Oh, it's beautiful. I, you can sort of see why this ended up being effectively the sort of like instrumental theme for the game. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Down there. I can do this. I did it. You sure did miss those purple coins. Alright, what are we working with here? Well, um, go up here first and foremost. Just make sure Insomniac is not dicking me. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not that bad, although there is a slightly nasty little secret hidden in here. I see. Whoa! How? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think I could explain how you did that, Tom. That's fine. I am off my game right now. It's fine. Oh god, he's following you. <laughs> oh jeez, I'm getting the pipe! <laughs> <laughs> uh. We Super Mario maker now. Well, I don't know, like, you haven't had random Bowser's dropping on you, so it can't be any more levels. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, since I have the complete get up, I have the complete thingamadoodle. Yes. Huh. So, keep that in mind. Right. Yeah, learning things. <laughs> Shut up, flame! <laughs> that wasn't even me trying to be passive-aggressive, it's just that's my natural state of being. <laughs> well, get a new state of being. <laughs> Stop being a twat, I get it, but I can't. <laughs> oh, that's a toughie. I suppose if I actually made use of the, uh, the run button, that might help. Yes, yes it would. It's not going to help you get that particular power moon that you just saw, but... It will help you get something else. Oh, right, okay. Mine! Because like, I can see what Richie's getting out about the rod in there, because it's like that sort of thing of... If you keep going along, there might be a warp pipe or something. <laughs> it's not a warp pipe, but... Um, def and Tom, don't go down. Hmm. I live on the edge. <laughs> Uh. Hmm, so how do I get this one then? Well, I mean, you'd have to go back, but I will say just keep going forward and try and get on top of that first. Oh, okay. Why are you always so slow when telling me these things? Well, because, you see, I'm trying to let you get it yourself. And then you don't, so... Alright, next one of these, over here, da da da. <laughs> ah, nah. Yeah, it's, it's a toughie, don't, just, yeah. You're going to be jumping a lot. 
because you've basically got to do it when you're mostly off screen, really, to achieve it. But you've done it! So, uh, enjoy your nice four free purple coins. Is that it? That's that. Um, if you want that extra power moon, um, go back a bit further. Okay, okay, okay. I'm lost now. <laughs> <laughs> Because you may be able to see a little something a little bit below you, perhaps? A little bit below me, perhaps. Nice. So, can you guess what you need to do? I can. Just getting up there is the problem. Do you really need to get up there? It's happening. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's coming back, we're safe. I don't think it's coming back either. Oh, you so look at that goddamn bomber's pit right in the centre. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, that's for the shell to fall into. Like, that's so it doesn't pounce you as you're going b like, through where you can't see. Right. Ah! It's also something else for you to run into, but hey, you know. <laughs> what can I say? I like running into things. So yeah, you know those purple coins that I was trying to get you to get? Yeah, those ones annoyed the hell out of me because I didn't know they were there because you just like, you think, oh, there's nothing up there. Why would they put anything up there? That's impossible. No, they did. Mm, the bastards. Dum, 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 dum. Alrighty, let's go find some more of these sweet suckers. Oh, beautiful. Hmm. There's one, like, right over here. There is. Straight ahead. Now, is there one or two in here? Um, I think there's two. Yeah, there are two. I remember this one. This one can be a little bit of a bitch. Well, I'm used to that at this point. I have uh, made peace with the fact that the post-game is going to bend me over and go to uh, Clan Town, as it were. That's certainly a euphemism. It is. Uh, does the caveman costume factor into this image at all? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Just please stop. Well, you know, sometimes we got to make ourselves uncomfortable. Do we, though? Only through uncomfort can we, in fact, find comfort. And that's our excuse, and we are sticking to it. <laughs> little tip that might help you out and um, try and shake the Joy-Con downwards. It's cold, don't worry about it. So many bitches all wanted Mario's cap. I hear a twinkling. How in the hell do you get up there? Quite easily actually. Yeah, it's, there's a little bit of a trick here. If you shake it again, it gets that little bit more length that you can do to get that. Yeah, there so is that as well. Length. <laughs> Thank you, Flam. I remember, them cloud platforms are timed as well, so you've got to be on your feet. How in the gosh darn? I will say this is a lot more simple than you're making it to be. Well, yeah, but to be fair, it is one of them things where you need to... Like, either know or find by accident. Well, t to know it's there, yes. But to actually get to it, um, it's a lot easier than it may first appear. Yeah. That's, that's what's going on here. Because, I mean, even then, I I'm pretty sure that you can probably backflip up that. Possibly. Or at least get close, anyway. Well, I've never really been fond of the invisible blocks as a way to hide things, because it is the sort of thing that... Unless it's like the off chance that you discover it by mistake, like you kind of need to know that it's there to like get to it. Compared to, that to things like where you know there's like a little cave around the corner or something, because that's the sort of thing that you can find just by a natural curiosity, and that's why they're like the better ones in my opinion, at least. Hmm. 
Yeah, why don't I just do that? Silly Tom, doing silly Tom things. <laughs> there is also the um, shaking the, the Joy-Con after you have uh, thrown Cappy to get that little bit of extra distance and the homingness on it. Yeah, I always forget about the homing feature. Yeah, it is a godsend. <laughs> This one I do remember explicitly having to take the things out of the case just to use the motion here, because like this one is like it's a pain in the ass if you're not using motion controls. Especially this bit. Oh lordy, Lord have mercy. But I did it. Hey, there we go. <laughs> uh. We out this bitch, this fucking technological nightmare. Is this made by the moon people? Evidently, yes. Who the fuck knows? <laughs>